There seems to be some evidence that in certain domains, people uh, do tend to be overly optimistic. So uh, a very simple example that uh, is often referred to is that uh, when you ask people if they're um, a better than average driver, the vast majority of people say that they believe that they are a better than average driver. So within behavioral economics, the way in which we think about beliefs is quite precise and uh, it has a precise definition. And um, this is that there is um, a probability assignment over different states of the world. So what do I mean by this? Basically, in situations where there is uncertainty about what might happen, we uh, think of beliefs as being the probability that an individual assigns to different events that might, might occur. And we also try to understand how you know, shifting the beliefs that individuals hold in mind over different uh, events that might occur influences the action choices that individuals make that might be affected by which, event, which events are realized. If you believe that uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of growth in the economy, or if you believe that the stock market is going to be going up, whether or not this is a correct belief or not is another question, um, this might influence the choices that you make. So if you think of an individual who's deciding whether to open a new restaurant, so let's say that this potential entrepreneur goes and collects data on all restaurants that have been opened in the past 10 years um, that are similar to the restaurant that she has in mind opening. Now, the thing is, if she calculates that, you know, let's say 70% uh, of these past restaurants were profitable and she figures out that in order for her restaurant to be worthwhile opening, it needs to have a 60% chance of success or being profitable, she might then conclude that uh, on the basis of learning from these past, from uh, observing the outcomes of these past restaurants, that her restaurant will also be likely to succeed. Now, one fundamental issue here is that the restaurants that she observes, the data on past restaurants that she observes, is highly selected. This is because someone decided to open each of these past restaurants. This means that only promising restaurants are actually opened and un unpromising restaurants are never pursued or opened, right? So this implies that if you form beliefs on the basis of learning from uh, the average outcomes of these promising restaurants, these beliefs are going to be upward biased. And so she arrives at these overly optimistic beliefs and might make mistakes in that she is more inclined to open a restaurant than she should be. Many, many in interesting uh, economic questions uh, rely on an understanding of beliefs. That's why it's important. It's very important to study beliefs and how individuals process information and arrive at their beliefs because it pertains to an incredibly wide array of uh, economically interesting questions and questions that are perhaps less related to economics but still interesting.